Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're out here with tequila today because I want to answer a question I got. And somebody asked, well, where do livestock guardians sleep? That's a good question. And the answer is it depends. <laughs> so everyone has a slightly different farm management style. You'll all have different predators. You'll have different setups. You will have, you know, different needs. So you might not have too many nighttime predators. Your predators might, might be daytime predators. You might not want your dog in the barn. You might want your dog in the barn. You might want your dog in the house. That's fine. That is all fine. Doggies and ponies and goats. So, it, you know, it depends. So Tequila sleeps on my bed. She primarily looks after the little baby bunnies. And the little baby bunnies, the lops anyway, tend to be raised in the house. Want to go see the bunnies? Come on, sweetie. So we're going to go over here and look at the, these babies. Come on, Tequila. Let's look at these babies. So she primarily sleeps in the house with me because one of her big things... Come on, Tequila. This way. I don't care what's over there right now. Come on. But one of her big things is looking after the babies. And since the lops are inside, she tends to be inside with them a lot. She's outside a lot, too. You've seen plenty of video of her outside. But Vodka's out more than she is because they actually fill different roles. She's kind of the baby guardian. Hi, Falcon. She's kind of the baby guardian, and Vodka's kind of the more adult guardian. So, look at all those bunnies. Look at all those bunnies. So, because of that, we have different approaches to them. Tequila sleeps mostly in the house. Vodka mostly doesn't. So it entirely depends on your management style and your needs and the temperament of your dogs. So some livestock guardians, you wouldn't necessarily want them to be in the barn overnight with the goats or whatever you have. And some you absolutely would. Maybe you've set up the, a dog's area just for them. So you might have oversized dog houses, stuff like that. So they have a place to go where the livestock isn't. That might work for you. Or bringing your dogs in at night might work for you or a combination. So the answer to where should my livestock guardian sleep is nuanced. <laughs> because it depends on your situation it depends on what you need, and it depends on the dogs themselves and the purpose they are fulfilling. So each dog is a little bit different. Each farm situation is a little bit different. So because of that, you can't necessarily just apply a blanket. They should always sleep in the barn with the goats. That doesn't necessarily work. And because that doesn't necessarily work, you have to allow for differences in farm management and needs, farm needs. What I need, weird bird, what I need is not necessarily what you need. So she doesn't stay out here all the time, but your dog might have to. So it's just really important to take into account your individual farm. I would say if you have a lot of nighttime predators, you should have at least one or two dogs who stay out at night with the animals. Yeah, I hear it too. However, you might not need that because you might not have very many nighttime predators. So tequila and vodka have done an excellent job of mostly keeping the nighttime predators away, especially because vodka is an unneutered male. And just the fact that he patrols the property and the fact that he pees around the property is a deterrent to things like coyotes and foxes. So just his presence is a deterrent and they bark a lot because they're livestock guardians. So they automatically are really quite good at repelling the predators just by existing. So in our particular situation and surrounded by field as we are, we're not surrounded by forest. It looks like we're surrounded by forest, but off our property field begins. Okay, because it's farmer's field. So because we're also surrounded by field, we don't necessarily have the predator problem at night, though we did have a black bear wander through, but you know, it's a black bear. They're not really that big a deal. As long as you don't leave food out for them, you don't have any bird seed or anything that they might want to eat. Yes, that's Falcon. You love him. 
So it really just depends on your own farm management style and your needs. So she doesn't need to spend the night out here. And frankly, she's not just a working dog. She's also my baby and I love her. So because of that, she sleeps in bed with me. I need her as much as she needs me. So I'll be honest. If I needed another dog outside, I'd get another dog. I wouldn't leave tequila outside. She's my baby. I need her. So, again, that plays into it as well. Your own needs play into it. So that's how sometimes you end up with more dogs than maybe you needed. <laughs> because uh, not all of them are going to stay outside because you love them. That's just the way it is. So, <laughs> we're just following tequila for no good reason. But I get asked a lot. Where should my livestock guardian sleep? And really, the answer is, what works for you? What kind of needs do you have? Where do you see your dogs? What, what kind of animals do you have that, you, that need protection? So, it's not as simple as me telling you. Yeah, I hear it too. But it's not as simple as me telling you, yeah, your dog should sleep with the goats. Or, no, bring your dog inside at night. It's not that simple. You really need to think about what you need because what you need matters. Right, baby? Yeah. And what the dog needs matters. So you're going to have to figure that one out for yourself. In general, I would say it's a good idea to have someone in your barn protecting your animals if you have a predator problem. And most people do have some type of predator problem. <laughs> yes, that's open right now. It's fine. Anyway, so that is a big deal, and it's, it's a big question to consider before you get your dog. Where is it going to spend its night? Before you get your dogs, uh, I do recommend getting more than one livestock guardian, not necessarily at the same time, but they tend to work best in groups of twos and threes. So definitely I would tell you to have them working in groups of twos and threes. Anyway... That is all I wanted to address today because I've been asked multiple times, where do I let my livestock guardian sleep? And the answer is, depends. It really, really depends. Okay? <laughs> so that's the answer to that. Sorry that that is not really that helpful, but you have to look at your own situation, your own animals, your own location, and take the temperament of your animals into account before you fully understand where your dog should sleep at night. So she sleeps inside. Vodka tends to like to sleep curled up with Arwen. So again, it depends, right? That's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. We'll see you tomorrow.